Where do you search for the information or questions in your mind? Google right? It organizes the world's information and makes it universally accessible and useful. How can we order search results to provide the most relevant and dependable sources of data possible in the blockchain ecosystem? Even for simple questions, it would take even for days for a decentralized application, DAP, running in a browser, to get an answer as indexing blockchain data is hard. Just as Google indexes the web, the graph indexes blockchain data from networks like Ethereum and Filecoin. This data is grouped into open APIs called subgraphs that anyone can query. Welcome to the graph ecosystem. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. Let's discover the whole story together. The graph focuses on indexing blockchain data with a hosted service that indexes blockchain data. These indexes, which are called subgraphs, can then be queried with a standard graphical application programming interface. In the future, the hosted service will evolve into a fully decentralized protocol with the same capabilities. Both are backed by the open source implementation of Graph Node. Yanov Tal, co founder and CEO of the Graph, worked with his team to develop an indexing protocol to make blockchain data easier to access. How does the Graph work? The Graph's first step for gathering data happens through the Graph nodes, who endlessly scan network blocks and smart contracts for information. When an application enters data to the blockchain through smart contracts, the Graph node adds the data from these new blocks to its appropriate subgraphs. Once the graph node processes data, there are three types of users who contribute to organizing data in its protocol. These include curators, curators analyze subgraphs, APIs, to identify subgraphs of high quality. Once a curator has found such a potentially attractive subgraph, they curate it by signaling on it. In doing so, curators highlight the indexers, which subgraphs are valuable and should be indexed accordingly. Indexers, indexers are node operators in the graph network that stake graph tokens, GRT, in order to provide indexing and query processing services. Delegators, delegate GRT to indexers in order to contribute to running the network without installing a node. All users earn a portion of the network fees for their work, dependent on their role. The graph subgraphs specify how to structure blockchain data that app and app developers will consume. Indexers who work like nodes serve this data and incentivize them with GRT tokens. This is to ensure that the API is always available in a decentralized manner and data is served correctly. What about the graph token, GRT? The graph token, or GRT, is its native ERC-20 based token that can serve as a medium of exchange and a reward for community participants who act as indexers, curators, and delegators. The need to create an information bridge between applications and blockchain data. The graph is transforming the existing data economy to one with better incentives, safer data sources, curated APIs and more expressive querying. Is noticeable. The graph offers a potential answer to this. Cryptocurrencies are also highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about the graph? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button.